did the pig tracks get on the ceiling? Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider. Really? Oink, oink. For real? Really? <laughs> All right. Now, I knew, I've known for a while that Spider-Ham was the next hero that was coming out. Yay. Didn't, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Wasn't sure how I felt about it. Now, um, I think his cards are kind of cool. We're going to get into them here. I don't. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Spider-Ham. Um, I'm just, I'm just not, sorry. So a lot of these cards are very gimmicky, um, but again, I target audience. I don't. I don't know if people, if other um, Marvel Champions fans are gonna like them. They're more so gimmicky, gimmicky in flavor. Yes. Right. Like yes, if we're just correct. looking at the the abilities, they look really good. Yeah. yeah. I just think. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. get we're, into we'll it. get into it. You'll All right. see. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so leading it off, we've got Peter P Peter Porker. Peter Porker, Peter Porker, five recovery. Um, all right, alter ego, uh, hand size six, hit, hit points 12. Um, cartoon power response, after you make a basic recovery, place one tune counter on Peter Porker. The best thing about this, other than the five recovery, is his uh, flavor text. You ever feel as if someone else is in control, like you're just a character in a game? Again, makes sense for what they're trying to do with this hero. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it makes sense. Um, all right, Jim, go ahead and read the hero. Spider-Ham. Two Thort, one attack, and one defense. He is a cartoon web warrior. Each tune counter on Spider-Ham can be spent as if it were a wild resource. Mm -hmm. Then he has Spider Nonsense response. After he takes any amount of damage, place one tune counter on him. So immediately... Um, oh. Hand size five. Uh, yeah, hand size five. Again, hit points 12. Yeah. And then two, one, one, two, Thor, one attack, one defense. Yep. Um, so again, so now we're told what the tune counters do. Basically, he has resources that can be put on him. Mm -hmm. um, for me, my mind goes, okay, how can I abuse this ability, essentially? Um, ping, 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 build up all those all those counters. And then how can they be utilized? Um, yep. So the most basic of, of ways is they're going to be used as wild resources now it should be noted these resources can only be used when you're in hero form yep. cannot be used when you are in alter ego form um correct me if i'm wrong but i'm there's nowhere on the alter ego side that says you can use those resources so they can yep. only be spent in hero form so just something to keep in mind so um so how can you use these right how can these two counters be used other than the resources well first card we're going to talk about ham it up it's a zero cost event, cartoon thwart, hero action thwart. Remove one threat from a scheme for each tune counter on spider ham. So this is a really powerful card. Um, one of the things that I've noticed and you'll see as we go through these is it looks like spider ham can be built in really any of the different aspects. Yep. Um, you've, he's got cards for each aspect, aggression, justice, protection, um, whatever the case may be, even mm -hmm. leadership. Um, so this one, it's literally a free card. Like it's not, it, it looks at how many counters are on, are on Spider-Ham, but it doesn't use any of them either. So it's a free event to where you can remove Thort based on how many tune counters you've got. So you want to boost up those tune counters before you use Ham It Up. Um, mm -hmm. Can be used in a pinch, can be used really um, whenever, but Ham It Up, I, I, I like, I initially like it. So um, yeah, Jim, let's check the next card. one. Hog, hogwashed. Yeah, hogwash. Yeah. <laughs> one cost event cartoon hero action. Remove one tuned counter from him. Loudly read this card's flavor text, mm -hmm. which is, pow, bam, whack, smack, boink. <laughs> <laughs> it should be noted that loudly read this card's flavor text is not part of the cost. It's part it's of the, the effect. effect. It's the yeah. effect. <laughs> and you have to start with this. Otherwise, you can't continue the effect, yeah, right? Right, yes. 
hate this card. <laughs> <laughs> Choose to either deal five damage to a minion or remove five threat from a side scheme. Very strong card. Yeah, that's one cost or five <laughs> yeah. damage. The only thing that would make it better is if it was any scheme, yeah. not just side scheme. Yeah. So the fact that it's side scheme automatically makes it worse. Um, but still, I'm not even looking at it for that. Honestly, yeah. I'm looking at it for one a uh, one cost for five damage. Yeah. Um, and it is a minion, but still, there's a lot of minions that have a good amount of power mm -hmm. um, or, or health. Yeah. So, yeah, one, one cost for five is pretty good. Um, this next one is one of my favorites from the this set is a good so card. far. Favorite. It's a one cost event. I don't think so. Hero interrupt cartoon. When you reveal a card from the encounter deck, remove one tune counter from Spider Ham. Say, I don't think so. Just in like your that. best Spider Ham voice. It literally says that. Cancel on the, the card. effects of that card and discard it. I, dude, if I replay this card, that's straight up how I'm saying it. Um, but that's not why I like it, right? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It is not cancel the effects and reveal another card. No, cancel the effects. Period. Get so my only question is, how many copies of this card do I get? That's my only question. So um, I've been playing a lot of uh, um, the other thing Black about Widow. It. I've been playing a lot of Black Widow Justice, mm -hmm. um, and I love having these kinds of cards yeah. just cancel cancel cards from the encounter deck. Also, looking at this card, it yeah. does say when you reveal a card from the encounter deck. I believe it's only you, and you couldn't use it if like when something is revealed for me. Ah, uh, that's a very good question. I uh, I don't know. I I I would have to look into it. Yeah. Because, the, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, when you reveal a card from the encounter deck, huh? I'll have I to get some clarification. Yeah. Um, what, because again, and I know we've mentioned this before, but they did, they did do a recent um, rules update of what uh, you means. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so you know, we, we'd have to look into that. So mm -hmm. I'm sure we sure we could probably f figure that out. But yeah, I, I like this card. Um, Very powerful. A, the gimmick, sure, sure, I, I'm okay. Because I was telling Jim even before this, when I when I play this card, I, that's probably how I'm gonna say it anyway. Like even if that thing wasn't there, <laughs> yeah. I, like that's how that's one of the ways I enjoy playing Marvel Champions. Mm -hmm. Is again, I get into that role. Yeah. Um, so I, I like it. Um, yeah. So that's it. Jim, read, read the next next guy for us. The next one is organic webbing. Mm -hmm. A spider. It's a two cost upgrade. Yeah. Spider ham gets plus one thwart. Hero action. Exhaust this card and remove one tune counter from spider ham ready spider ham he gains aerial trait until the end of the phase i always love restanding effects yes for now now one thing that i want to point out that i didn't point out for i don't think so um the cost of i don't think so is two it's technically two because yeah. you have to remove a tune counter so mm -hmm. since it can be spent for wild resource you need to look at it as part of the cost mm -hmm. same thing with organic webbing um, so it's not, it's not even in cost three. This card could, could end up costing you five resources, right? Because you have to have, when you exhaust the yep. webbing, you have to remove a tune counter. Yeah. So you, you have to keep that in mind when looking, when thinking about your cost. Now, that being said, you'd want, I think you'd want to get organic webbing out as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, because again, it's, it's not even about giving him plus one Thor. It's about being able to exhaust it to then restand. Yeah to restand uh spider hand but then you have to you have to ask the question why am i restanding well i mean honestly right now that, that you're at three thwart three thwart is pretty good yeah getting rid of six yeah that's oh man that that's powerful in one mm -hmm. turn that's crazy uh yeah i i really like organic webbing i'm i i like and then if you have ham it up you can do that before you then restand as well uh, oh, oh. So then be removing a lot. Oh, yes. So do go ham it up into organic webbing. Yeah, we're going ham. Oh, <laughs> I have a feeling people are going to be saying that. I've already seen, <laughs> I've already seen comments in the multiple groups that I'm in about with, with ham it up. Yeah. So, um, yeah. All right. So next one, we've got another upgrade. It's called huge wooden hammer, two cost upgrade, cartoon weapon. Spider hand gets plus one attack. All right, so just a boost to his attack. And then he has Hero Interrupt. When Spider-Ham makes a basic attack, exhaust huge wooden hammer and remove a tune counter from Spider-Ham. So again, 
looking at more cost added to the uh, added to the two. But Spider Ham gets plus two attack for that attack. That attack gains overkill. So um, you don't always have to do the exhaust. I mean, he just gives you a a static plus one attack, right? Mm -hmm. So that isn't the greatest because I mean now you're at two attack. Okay, like all right, cool. Yep. Um, but the ability for you to be able to go from two to then four attack plus give me an overkill, Ultron going against a one one a drone, yep. killing the minion or killing the drone for one, and then hitting the villain for three. That's that is always that's good. I mean, Jim, you love overkill. Oh yeah, and then you restand with the organic webbing yeah, the organic and then do webbing, it again yeah. because you know there's how many different little. What are those bots called? The the drones. Yeah, the drones. Because yeah. you know there's more than one out there. Oh yeah. You if know. you can do that again. Yeah. Oh, that's you're hitting Ultron for six. Oh yeah. yeah that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, Jimbo, read read the read the next one for us. We got a ally here. <laughs> America. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> Captain America. I I wait, wait. I like his name. It's Steve Mauser. <laughs> Steve Mauser. Oh, I'm <laughs> upset. <laughs> uh, three cost ally, two thwart, two attack, and it has one consequential, one consequential damage uh, with three HP. He is a cartoon, and he has response. After you, after he enters the field, uh, give someone a high five. <laughs> Place one tune <laughs> counter on your identity and shuffle one spider ham card from your discard pile into your deck. So you do get to recycle a little bit. Yeah. So it turns it from three into kind of two because yeah. you're gaining because you're gaining a resource. Someone mm -hmm. I, I've seen multiple questions to this about what if you're playing a solo? You are someone. There you go. You did it. Yay. You can do that. What if That's I'm a, a nobody? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're still someone. You're I'm a, a nobody. <laughs> Jim, you're not a nobody. You're somebody. I know. Don't get I down know. on yourself like that, I bud. Know. I know. <laughs> All right. So honestly, I I'm just upset about this character. Okay. <laughs> like I saw it. I'm like, Dan, I don't like him. <laughs> I knew when I sent it to him because I've been waiting for this. Now, this should be mentioned. Should be mentioned. This was announced on April Fool's Day. Yeah. It was not a joke. I've been I've been waiting all through March. I'm like, when are they gonna announce a hero? We know what it is. When are they gonna announce it? They waited to April Fool's Day to do it. Hilarious. This is yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. so happy. <laughs> not a joke, real hero, but yeah, still. Yeah. All right, so this next one, it is a zero cost event called Petulant Pig. Cartoon hero action. Stick your tongue out at the villain. The villain attacks you, draw three cards. All right. So again, the whole gimmick, you, you don't even have to do most of these gimmicks. They're just there for, for the flavor, right? <laughs> it really, it really is. And I think, honestly, I think they've nailed, they hit the nail on the head with the, with the flavor for yeah. spider ham for sure. Um, but zero cost event for draw three cards for your netting. You are then netting a resource at minimum. You're getting a resource, yeah. uh, cause you're probably going to be attacked this or card, you're going to get hit. This card's better than pot of greed. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so zero cost event for draw three. Yeah. I mean, Spider Ham wants to get hit. So, yeah, I mean. Which was one reason I was really liking protection for him as well. Yes. Because yeah. then you can start really the, defending yourself. The, the, the only thing that I thought about when going for a protection build mm -hmm. is you want to get hit by at least one damage. Yeah. You want to yeah. get hit by at least one damage. And that is where this next one comes in. Yep. This next one, Cartoon Physics. It is a one cost upgrade. Interrupt. When your identity would take any amount of damage, discard this card. And then you wiggle your body and prevent all but one of that damage. Yep. You got to wiggle your butt. You literally have to wiggle your body. Guys, come on. Thanks. All right, prevented all but one of that damage <laughs> because that wiggling was absolutely necessary to prevent that yeah, damage. I guess you just shake it off, right? Yeah, <laughs> yep, shake it off. Um, oh, I like this card though. 
I do like this yeah, card. Extremely strong. I mean, I've got six damage coming in. What do I do? Oh, that's, oh there we it'd go. It'd be a you, shame. But you, it's not it's not a defense either. Yeah. It's not a defense. So that is huge. Mm -hmm. That is what's huge about this is you don't have to exhaust to defend. You're just, oh, I'm going to eat eight. No, I'm not. Yep. I'm going to discard this and then eat one. Yeah. And then and then I get a damage. So it's like it's free almost. Yeah. Right? Because you're netting a counter. Yeah. An amazing so card. I really, really like this card. And then being able to then put Captain America out, bounce, mm -hmm. and then get shuffle that back into my deck. Yes, mm -hmm. please and thank you. So I, I like it. Um, all right, so that's all the spider ham the spider ham cards that they showed. Um, so now we've also got some uh, excuse me, some justice cards. I I read this card wrong the first time. Just the name. Uh, what, Lady Spider? Yeah, I thought it said Lazy Spider. That's... Lazy Spider. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the first one, the first one is a four cost uh, ally, Lady Spider, May Riley. Uh, two cost, uh, excuse me, two thwart, two attack, both with two consequential damage. Um, four health, Web Warrior response. After Lady Spider thwarts and removes threat from a scheme, if you control another Web Warrior card, remove an equal amount of threat from a different scheme. Mm -hmm. So for two, Thor is pretty good. So, I mean, if you've got multiple schemes out on the board, main scheme and then some side schemes, you Thor remove two, basically you're removing four total. Yep. Um, if you can remove two from a different scheme. So, um, you know, only, only really good in a web warrior build, um, which you'll see a lot of these other cards really um, are, are going towards that web warrior archetype, which <laughs> it's always good when you see more cards being added for a specific archetype. Um, but again, I, I'd rather see more cards being added for existing archetypes than let's introduce a new archetype and then have cards for that. Yeah. Well, as opposed to I'd rather have let's let's open up the avenues for designing uh, for buildings other archetypes. But yeah. it is nice seeing uh, it always it, it is always nice seeing another uh, new archetype yeah. um, being designed for as well. So, all right. Uh, what's the next one we got? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. A three drop ally. He has one Thor, one attack with three HP. Web Warrior response. After he enters play, remove one threat from a scheme for each Web Warrior you control, including himself. So at worst, this is one because if you play him in a non Spider Man build, mm -hmm. um, then he's he only, he sees himself. Um, but if you play him in other Spider-Man or uh, other Web Warrior builds, mm -hmm. um, then you can remove two. So again, I think for three cost, again with just the one attack or one Thor one attack, I, I, I'd want I'd want to I'd want to get more more out of it than yeah. just the one. So probably only look to build him in 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 other uh, Web Warrior builds. Yep. Um, and then his name. Pa Pavatar Prabhakar. I'm not. I'm not yeah, I, certain. On that's that. why I don't know. I, 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 like, yeah, I know. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of figured. <laughs> so, all right. Well, the next card we've got is a zero cost upgrade for Justice uh, Overwatch. Attached to a scheme, max one per scheme. Hero interrupt. When any amount of threat is removed from attached scheme by a thwart, you discard this card. Remove an equal amount of threat from a different scheme. Um, so application, I'd probably use this on a main, on a main scheme or a scheme that has an acceleration icon on it. Um, because if it has hazard, I believe it has hazard scheme threat cannot be removed from the main scheme while a side scheme with the hazard icon is in play. I think uh. it's hazard or there was another one, but I think it's hazard, um, or crisis. I'm sorry. It's a crisis icon. Oh, hazard okay. is you get an additional uh, encounter card oh, hazard right. is you have to deal with that side scheme before anything else okay. um so yeah if hazard if there's a side scheme with hazard in play then you i you really would not be able to use this on the main scheme because you can't remove threat from from the main scheme mm -hmm. before uh, that other one is removed so um an interesting card uh for justice builds for sure um and again even more even more uh, in depth than that for specific scenarios where you're going to have multiple schemes on board. Um, so like Rise of Red Skull, anything that's very scheme, side scheme based, um, you probably look at potentially including Overwatch in, in your in your builds for sure. So 
All right, that's that one. So next one. Even the odds. Mm -hmm. Two cost event that has requirement of energy. Yeah, yeah. that's energy. Yep, energy. Uh, when playing this card, spend the listed resource. Mm -hmm. Uh, hero action Thort remove one per player threat for each from each side scheme. Yep. Deal one damage to the villain for each side scheme defeated this way. Yep. So, um, I mean, a dead card in villains or scenarios that have zero side schemes. Yep. Like if you're playing Rhino, where his his whole thing is he just has the side, the main scheme, and there's really Super barely any card. side scheme, then it's a dead <laughs> card. Right, because it specifically targets side schemes. Yep. Right, so you know, look, look and see what you're playing. Again, with all of these modular sets and everything being modular, you gotta build your deck accordingly. Like, yep. what am I? You need to look at what you're going against to then be able to um, see what you're gonna utilize. Uh, so, all right, well, that's all the cards from Spider Ham um, and the. Justice cards are going to be included with Spider Ham that were announced. All right. So, additionally, again, I, I'm liking these modular sets that they're including. So, just like Nova and um, Ironheart, yep. we've got another modular set th that is being included. And this is the Inheritors. They showed us five Inheritors, right? They're, yeah. they're going to be. <laughs> You, are you just happy that you were yeah, able to I just stack stood those it up. up? I just stood them up. That was it. I'm like, ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> Bora. So, so, all right. So there's five inheritors. All right. So before we even look at each of them, they all essentially buff themselves. So mm -hmm. each inheritor card that was showed states each inheritor minion gains. So they're all minions and they each, they each buff themselves, right? As a group. No. Right. So Bora, what's Bora, Jim? Bora is a three scheme, one mm -hmm. attack. I almost forgot. I'm like, Thor? No, yeah. that's not it. <laughs> um, five health. Each inheritor minion gains one acceleration icon. Oh, can you imagine if you had four of them out? Yeah, oh, gosh. That'd be oh, my word. No, please. Question, question. If no. you take her out before getting rid of the other ones, do you take... Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Correct. <laughs> because then, then they lose that. They lose it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, when revealed, if a web warrior character is in play, place one threat on each scheme. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that can be rough. Yeah, that can be rough. But, but again, uh, so just like the rest of the set, it's all looking at web warriors, yep. right? So really looking to buff web, web warriors. And in this case, debuff web warriors. <laughs> so next one is Bricks, all right? So Bricks, uh, one scheme to attack five health minion. Each inheritor minion gains patrol. Um, patrol, what was patrol again? Uh, patrol's kind of like guard, but for the schemes. I believe so. Let me see if it's... Oh, here we go. I've got him up. Patrol. While a minion with patrol is engaged with the player, that player cannot thwart the main scheme. Yep. So if they're side schemes, you can thwart side schemes, but you cannot uh, thwart uh, the main scheme. Mm -hmm. okay? So it's... Yeah, it's exactly like mm -hmm. uh, guard them because yep. you're able to attack other minions Correct. as well. Yep, yep. Um, all right. When revealed, if a web warrior character is in play, place two threat on the main scheme. Mm -hmm. So again, kind of uh, going along with the patrol... Uh, really wanting to uh, protect the main scheme yep. and buff the main scheme. So, all right, next one. <clears throat> next up, we got Demos. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Demos. Uh, one one scheme, three attacks, six HP. Then he has each inheritor minion gains stalwart. Mm -hmm. uh, when revealed, if a web warrior character is in play, stun a character you control. And stalwart is characters with stalwart cannot be stunned or confused. Ah, right, right. Yep, yep. Um, I, I do like his flavor text. I am Deimos, son of Solos, one of the inheritors of all creation, and you are a moat, a speck, a bit of dust in the wind. I all like, I like that. All is dust in the wind. <laughs> All right, next we've got Genix. Genix. Genix is two scheme to attack, six health. 
Inheritor minion. Each Inheritor minion gains guard. Again, guard is you cannot attack the the villain. You can yep. attack other villains, uh, excuse me, minions, but not the villain. And then has when revealed, if a web warrior character is in play, give Genix a tough status card. Um, yeah, so again, I prefer to make them struggle. I love the taste of adrenaline. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I don't see anyone playing these in uh, builds that are not web warriors. Yep. Like, I feel like if you're if you're gonna play against the inheritors, you're doing it because you want to have a challenge, right? Because they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing. That's the point. <laughs> uh, I mean, they are buffing themselves. They are <laughs> yeah, buffing themselves. Sure, so, sure, which, sure. so that that already is that already is something. So. Yep. Um, all right, Jim, with the last one, the dad, big daddy. Oh, Solus. Yeah. He has double scheme, three attack, seven HP. Each inheritor minion gains villainous. I didn't know this was a Disney villainous episode. <laughs> yeah. uh, gains villainous. Uh, when revealed, if a web warrior character is in play, give Solus one face down boost card. Uh, it, Jim, it's not a Disney villainous. It is a Marvel villainous episode. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so villainous is uh, when the minion activates, they get a uh, face down boost card. Yeah. So, yeah, that's oh, no, please. No, dude. Very strong. Very strong. <sighs> Yeah. The worst part about that, honestly, is that you just go through the deck faster to then yes. give yourself yes. an acceleration yep. token. Yep. That is the worst part. It is. It is straight up for sure. Um, all right. So, Jim, what do you think about the inheritors? Uh, the inheritors, I think, are are pretty crazy. I like how they all really work with each mm-hmm. other, yeah. but it's also extremely scary mm-hmm. because they all work with each yes. other. <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking forward to playing against them. Yeah. I like the design. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. Um, like I, I, I really do like it from a standpoint of here's a, here is for sure a, a, a big challenge, especially for Spider-Man characters mm-hmm. and other web warrior characters. I do like, I like the ability to, if I want a challenge, all right, the challenge is there. Yeah. And, uh, it, and, and for, it. and for three out of the five, it takes at least like two actions or like two cards essentially mm-hmm. in order to kill them. It could yeah. be like, oh, I attack with one or two damage and then I have a card that hits them for five. Yeah, it gives you some really interesting choices that yeah. you have to answer. Yeah. Um, so I do, I think that's really cool. So like in, especially in matches to where you've got two players or three players and you're all playing Web Warrior characters yeah. or you're going to get hit, dude. <laughs> you're going to get hit. But even if you're not, even if you're not playing web warriors, <laughs> these are really still going to be some pretty difficult characters mm-hmm. to play against. So yeah. for sure. So what do you think? What do you think of spider ham? Are you excited for spider ham? Are you looking forward to saying, I don't think so. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Um, I, I did in heart. I did see somebody. I did see somebody who who goes, right. So we're getting the spider pig, but we don't have daredevil. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. I, I'm dude. I'm with you, man. I stink it. I want daredevil, but I think I think when they roll those characters out, they're going to be doing the defenders like as a mm. box or something. I I don't know. We'll see. But I real I want. Dare, I love daredevil as a character so much. <laughs> Like, please, the next Daredevil, like, that's the one I want. It's the next character I want. I know the next character we're getting in this cycle. Um, <coughs> last one for the cycle. And then we're, we're going to get into the next big box set. So, yeah, Jim, I think I think we know what you think. But what do you think? I love them. <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, we're going to get out of here. That was this preview. Uh, let us know the next character you want to see. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So thanks everybody for being here. Catch you in the next video. See everybody. Take care.